President Trump, in fact, about the trajectory of the growth in the United States. And here's what he had to say uh, on the strength of the U.S. economy. I want this dollar to be strong. I want it to be so powerful. I want it to be great. But if you lower the interest rates, so many good things would happen. Right. And one of the things I do want to do is pay off debt. And we're poised for tremendous growth. It'll really kick in toward the end of this year. Okay. But we're we'll, poised for tremendous growth. Let me and joining us now for a broader look uh, at the growth of the global economy uh, is Carmine DeCibio, and he is uh, e or EY CEO and chairman, and um, we'll talk about the economy. I, I eventually want to talk about the way you're trying to do public networks. You need to explain it to me, uh, to go from private, because it's daunting. What, what were you, a chemical engineer or something, or what, what was your... I was, I was, Joe, I was a chemistry major. Chemistry undergrad. major. Yeah. Chemistry major. So that helps, I think. But can we talk about public versus private in a second? But first, just overall, what, what, are you, what are you hearing here? What are you seeing with customers and, and clients? The economy's pretty good. No, you said no recession a year ago. I don't think I, you ever I, You're right. I absolutely did. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we, so the first part of Davos was all about climate, uh, and everyone was talking about climate. But now, in the last day or so, uh, I think we're back to normal conversation around, around the economy, around growth. Uh, and look, our clients are pretty bullish. Uh, we, uh, you know, one of the things you all said to me is, uh, can you come back if, uh, if you see a slowdown in terms of what, what your clients are seeing? And I would say November, end of November, December, I was almost going to call up and say, maybe I should come in because we started seeing really? the, uncertainty well, yeah, piece, yep. the uncertainty piece around the China deal, around Brexit, was starting to weigh things down. Uh, with those two things behind us, uh, I do think uh, it's clean, clean, uh, clean sheet of paper, and, and we're ready to go again. You know, that's really interesting. Anil Bushra was here earlier this morning, too, from Workday, and he spooked the entire cloud industry, yep. all the stocks of those companies back in October when he said that there had been, they had seen some potential slowdown in things. Yeah. He told us this morning that it was really, he was hearing it from a few big industrial, from a few CEOs in particular, including one big industrial CEO company, and he may have extrapolated. Um, some incorrect inco sort of inferences from some of those conversations he was having at that time. Yeah, I, I would say it was a little bit broader in terms of what we saw okay. in November, December. So I, I do think people were getting, starting to get nervous on the China deal in particular. And, and ready to stop spending as much money? I'm ready to slow down a little bit, yeah. yeah. But I think now that's all behind us. So, so we're seeing, you know, we're seeing a lot of transformation going on with, with clients, in particular in technology. That obviously is good for us. It mm -hmm. causes work for us. And, uh, you know, you have to be, you have to be on, on, on top of AI, cloud. Uh, you have to have your business organized right today. Uh, those are all things that, that are creating work and, and, uh, and creating jobs also. What would a public network do for you that, that and, and a lot of your peers think it's too daunting or, or, or there's too many problems associated? You think a lot of the problems are imminently solvable. Why would it help someone? Why would it put you ahead of everyone else? What do you mean a public network? The public sure networks that, uh, in using blockchain network infrastructure. Oh, oh okay. uh, on blockchain. Yeah, on blockchain where, you know, it, it, I guess, what is the, the drawback for, for private networks? Not every, if you could make it ubiquitous, it'd be much easier for your clients, right? It, yeah, well, there's, there's a whole school of thought, Joe, that, um, that an open network, a public network uh, would, would work well for everyone. Um, and it's, it's like the Internet. Okay, but is it back. doable, or, or there, there's a lot of drawbacks, right, that you're trying to address? There are drawbacks, but we think it's doable. We think it's doable. It's a big I mean, bet, isn't it? I mean, it, and it's like swinging for the fences. It's, it's a big bet, Joe, but, but think of the Internet. Think if the Internet was, was born in small pieces all over the place. It wouldn't <laughs> really work well. Um, and the same thing with blockchain. Uh, we, we are doing a lot around blockchain. We believe in an open uh, blockchain, uh, but what do you but, look into this circuit? I mean, do you understand? Well, so the question I had was, Ethereum and yes, but what do you make of the argument by Anil, uh, by the way, who was just on, yeah. that actually blockchain is is uh, a solution, a you know, looking for a problem. Yeah, I don't look. I don't think blockchain is going to be the savior to everything. Okay, but I do think in particular situations it's very very helpful. We do a lot of work in blockchain when it comes to authenticating food, uh, authenticating wine. Uh, we 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 <laughs> actually have. Uh, done a lot of projects in Italy. Uh, we do projects in Japan around sake, authenticating the, that the, the grapes are where they, they're from all along the way using what we call ops chain. How, how does that even work? Right? It, it, basically, along the way, along the supply chain, yeah. okay, you, you, if, if you use ops chain, yeah. you want to make sure that that is really, that takes away anything that's going to come in between. Uh, so it, it really helps, the, the, if you think of it, the supply chain. 
all the way from grapes all the way to coming in a bottle. And your bottle will have a little thing that says it's gone through ops chain, uh, and that ensures that those are actual grapes from where they grew. Just, you know, I look at, you know, who you're up against, and um, it would be interesting if it's actually possible to do it. And, and I was just fascinated that per transaction it was like, I don't know, too expensive, $9 for something small, so you couldn't use it. But then if you bundle together hundreds at the same time, you can get, get it down to pennies. I mean, there's all these... And I was just wondering, as a you know, chemistry major, whether you're, you're actually looking, you understand the actual technology and what needs to be done. No, well, to be honest, Joe, I don't understand it as well, but our people understand it very well. Uh, you and people they, that are. They, uh, and they're very bullish on it. But again, I agree with the, the person before. Mr. This is Neil. not a macro. This, you have to have a, a particular reason. All right, so how long, Australia went 28 years without a, a downturn. How long can we go? Uh, right now, I'm, uh, I'm pretty bullish, uh, so I think we can go a long way. I mean, I do worry about, look, I think you are going to see increasing wages uh, if you really look at jobs. You worry about that? You're not supposed to worry about that. Well, I worry about what's going to happen with monetary profit. policy yeah. if, if wages are increasing. And so, right. so that then will put pressure on the equity market so that, that you know, you worry that it's, worry. it's going to be so strong the Fed will be forced to raise rates? See, I don't, that's the, that's the question. Uh, will it be strong or will it be very moderate? And you think in a, in a presidential cycle that could happen? Don't, don't you think that Powell just said, hands off the wheel, I don't want to deal no. with this? Well, no, I, I, I don't think so, Andrew. I think if, if wages are increasing really dramatically, I think the Fed has to, has, to yeah. Yeah. has to react. Uh, All right, thank you. Thanks, Joe. All right, call us next time. Okay. Yeah, call us. Call. Did Sorkin not take your call? Or? No. I'm always... Oh, okay. No, no, no. I pick up my phone. It was close. It was okay. close, but okay. I wasn't uh, there. Well, we thank you for thinking thank of you. us. Thanks. Keep us in mind. Thanks, thank Carmen. You.